Okay, as I always start with every one of my videos of doing anything, we always start here to welcome you to Buffalo Powder Systems Powder Coating. Now, what I'm gonna show you today is, well, first of all, these were just done this morning. Um, they're a, they're a, a real heavy, like a wrinkle, a wrinkle black. And, um, yeah, the guys are just pulling them away from a, uh, the, the, the cooling area. Now here, which is what I was, you know, going to show you, is a frame that we've had in the oven for about an hour, preheating it, so that when we powder coat it, we get a lot of powder on it. And over there is another frame being done, but he's just blowing it off and uh, getting it ready. It'll be powder coated next. Now this one is hot, so we're going to get a tremendous amount of powder thickness on this is a show a show frame for our show truck and by having this thing hot um, you get a much thicker coating on it which will make it it's a it's a super high gloss that we're putting on and uh, and it's gonna make it thicker now you, you can you can apply powder and get it thick two ways you can powder coat it twice you know, once cold electrostatically and once hot. We're gonna do the, uh, we're gonna magnify the, that by doing it hot and electrostatically. He'll put the ground wire on it. You get the ground wire on it and uh, don't, put, don't forget to put your ground wire on it. And then, uh, and then he'll start the powder coating. Now this frame right here, is a car frame. It's been sandblasted by Great Lakes Media Blasting. They do a wonderful job. They're fair in their pricing. They do it at a, at a reasonable amount of time. And um, and so I, I have no problems with their, their work. They're a brand new company. And uh, they, they learn every day how to please us even more. And uh, we're working well together. Uh, Derek is the owner and he's a very aggressive young man from the standpoint he wants to please his customers and uh, and so that's the kind of uh, company I want to have do my sandblasting because I'm one of his customers and I and I see how he treats his, his other customers and so I know he's gonna treat me the same way you know we're car guys obviously there's a couple of my cars there's there's a 50 Chevy in front of it that hopefully next summer I'm driving with a beautiful paint job that I plan on putting on it. I wish I could powder coat it, but I won't be because I can't put the car inside the oven. The glass will melt, the rubber will melt. But this will be powder coated next. And here's Tommy powder coating. right in here okay now I'm going to show you when, 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 when after he gets done powder coating the truck frame I will show you this car frame and you will see powder going in here coming out here going in here coming out here coming out here coming out here now this again 
is open. But in here, it's all enclosed. When we get done with this frame, it will be totally powder coated inside and out. Like, like right down in here. We will get this all coated totally inside. Totally inside here. Well, you can see a figure comes out. So if, 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 if anything's inside, we will get it. Totally inside here. Totally inside here. This frame will be sealed, in, in completely engulfed in powder. And what we'll, the way we'll do it is we'll powder coat it cold electrostatically, and then it gets 90% of it. And then we'll put it in the oven and we'll get it hot. Then we'll take it out, we'll powder coat it again hot. And then you got a show car quality frame. Now, the sad part about it is that, if you can see this, it's too bad General Motors made shitty work like that because today's welding is so beautiful and so superior but if you if you weld this all up perfect then it disqualifies the car for you know points when it is at an original car show so you've got to leave it exactly the way it is and in the past the car clubs have actually taken points away from guys that had their frames powder coated because they weren't like original. But with the cost of restoring today, the clubs and the, and the organizations have all changed that philosophy. Because when you're restoring a car, you got $50,000 in the car, you should be allowed to give it the absolute highest quality finish. And the finish that I'll put on these things is an exact duplicate of the original finish, only a thousand times better. It's a lot prettier and it's 100% sealed. So, we, I'll, uh, he's, still, he's powder coating right now, still. And this gives you some idea how long this all takes. Because it's been seven minutes and 16 seconds since that oven, since that thing was taken out of the oven. And he's got about one quarter of this thing done. So, you know, in order to do a really nice job, you do it. You, you coat it, and you coat it, and you coat it. Get as much on there as possible. So I'm gonna, my, my wrist is killing me from holding this camera. I will um, be back in a few minutes when he's got this thing done.